Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing. This time we're checking out the Aladdin Connect, which is a smart home garage door control. So I'm gonna go ahead, unbox to see what it comes with, do a setup and installation tutorial. So stay tuned. What this is is basically a hub that connects to your phone through a data connection and allows you to go ahead and control your garage door with your phone. It's convenient, so if you're away from home and you have some fam family that need access to your garage, you can just go ahead and open it for them uh, straight from your phone. Or you can set up a key for them and they can use their own phone to open your garage be between a certain time frame. Okay, so let's go ahead, open it up and see what it comes with. Okay, so first thing you see is a sticker that you can put on the wall, a warning sticker different languages just in case tells you what kind of garage doors it could open on all safety precautions here let's see you have a quick setup guide telling you how to connect it, it says you need all these tools but hopefully not you also have a setup video on YouTube setup guide and let's see Spanish this is your hub right here this is what everything connects to So you can set this up either next to your old garage door opener or next to the next to the chain up on top. Wire is pulled because you have to hardwire these to your garage opener. You got some staples here just to hold the, the wire in place when you have it hardwired. You have your mounting bracket and necessary hardware to mount it. These to the side, let's not lose these. This is your garage door sensor. Goes on the top panel of your garage door. And a power supply. All right, so the Aladdin Connect pretty versatile works with most of the major brands of garage openers so once you have it connected and you're using it it gives you notifications whenever your door is open it also works with Alexa and Google Assistant unfortunately it doesn't work with HomeKit got the back of this hub right here once you open it up you can see where the the wires go in from this wire spool so all you have to do is just pull these tabs down and go ahead and you insert the, the wires into which door it corresponds to. So as you can see, it says door one, door two, door three, and this is for the power supply. So that's enough, enough unboxing. Let's go ahead, install it, and go ahead with the setup process. First thing you wanna do is go ahead, plug in the power supply. Next, we need to go ahead and download the Aladdin Connect app. All right, so now that we have it connected, we'll go ahead, open it up, press okay. Let's go ahead and sign up for it. Okay, so we have created an account. Now we're on the main screen here. We'll go ahead and hit this plus sign here, My Doors, which is a retrofit device. Go ahead and scan the back right here. My Door device, continue. And just follow the prompts. Continue, we'll go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi from now. Now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi and setting up. The light's lighting up. So it gives us that we successfully connected our device to the Wi-Fi network. Hit continue. All right, and the last step here is to go ahead and pair our sensor here. It's telling you to pull out the tab that's on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. As you can see, there's a blue LED light flashing. We'll go ahead and hit continue. So it's confirmed that you see light. So we'll go ahead and finish setting this up. Then we'll go ahead with the hard wire. So this blue LED here indicates that the sensor has been paired with the device. After that, you can go ahead and add different users and you can add different rules as to when you want your garage opener to work, certain times, certain days, you know, whatever This part is gonna be a little tricky for me. I've never had to hard wire anything. I'm gonna go ahead and split them about this much and then go ahead and strip about half an inch off the insulation. All right, so we got them stripped about half an inch each. What you want to do is go ahead and put them where it says garage door one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's these two right here. Okay, so we got two of them in. Do the same thing for the other side, but this time it'll connect to the garage door opener up top. 
So first thing I did before I start installation is I wanted to make sure that wherever I'm installing this opener, wherever I'm installing it at, has good Wi-Fi signal. So if, as you can see, the green LED light there has good strength, uh, good you signal. You can see I got the, the new wires connected here. All right, now, to the next so now that I got all the hard wiring done, they want you to go ahead and drill to install this the mount for the device. I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie it straight onto my onto the frame. Yeah, right so here. I went ahead, took a little shortcut instead of drilling. I went ahead and zip tied the mount. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Power is on. Wires are plugged in. Let's go ahead, finishing setting up through the phone and installing the sensor. Now, final step before we go ahead, finishing the programming. We'll go ahead and install the sensor here on the uppermost panel of your garage door. All the way to the side right here on the reinforced part. And then you go ahead and just clip it on there. Just like that. One cool thing about this system is that the sensor is already installed to the main hub. So once I went ahead and put the sensor up, it automatically connected to the app. All right, so that's it for the unboxing for the Genie Aladdin Connect Smart Home Garage Door Controller and setup. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, go ahead, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for future unboxing and setup videos. Thanks for watching.